I want to ask a question. I was actually thinking about this question on the way over here. Because mm-hmm. um, y'all are the first couple mm-hmm. business owners mm-hmm. cool, cool. that uh, that uh, I've interviewed yet. Um, question is, how is owning a business with your spouse? How's that? Because y'all work <laughs> together? Yeah. Y'all live together? Yeah. Who want to take that first? Let me go first. <laughs> It's your man, Rod Carter. I'm excited to be here with y'all again. It's another episode of The Spotlight with Rod Carter. I am proudly your host. Today, my special guests are a dynamic duo. They've been doing it out here in the city, hustling and grinding, making sure that they put clothes on everybody's back in the Midwest. I got with me to my right, Mr. and Mrs. 913, Joshua and Mikael Watson. How's it going, y'all? I uh, appreciate y'all uh, being on the show, man. Welcome to the spotlight. Appreciate you having me. Y'all been all over uh, social media, mm-hmm. checking y'all out, man. Y'all have just been killing it, man. I'm really proud of y'all. Uh, I don't know if it's just coincidence, mm-hmm. but a lot of my guests have been uh, Washington alumni. Mm-hmm. I've known you know, it's And I, I, tr- I, I promise y'all I'm not doing that on purpose. <laughs> you know, it's just, but... Washington had a lot of great, you know, a lot of extraordinary great, people. Yeah, a lot of great yeah. scholars, <laughs> and y'all uh, happen to be uh, two of them. Um, so let's let's start from the top. Um, jo- uh, both of y'all from Wyandotte County. Yeah, born and raised. Born and raised. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Why clothing? Uh, I don't think it was like. See, this it wasn't something that was necessarily planned and mapped out. Mm-hmm. It just kind of happened. Okay. So it was like I wanted to I wanted to uh, wear my own clothing. So this wasn't even like originally to sell. So I came to my wife and was like, "Hey, I got some ideas. I want to put this on some shirts, right? Because I want to wear it, right?" She was like, "Cool." She sat down and designed and mocked some stuff up. I liked it. I was like, "Cool, let's go with it." Let's print them up. Right. So that's what we did. And it was just for, for my intense purposes to wear it. Just, so, just wearing Yeah, just, just wanted to wear my own thing. Like, I was I was wearing Lacoste, Polo, like, mm-hmm. all these different brands. But I was just kind of on a way where I didn't want to wear that stuff no more. Right. And not only did I not want to wear that stuff, I want to wear stuff that represented my city, my town. Right where I'm from because right. we always talk is, you know, you got the I Love New York shirts. Mm-hmm. You know, Nipsey made a, a big splash when he came out with the Marathon and the Crenshaw brand. Right. There's Detroit brands, Atlanta brands, there's right. Miami, like, but being from here, there's nothing here that really represents us as right. far as the urban community to where we can go somewhere and be proud of where we're from and wear something that represents where we're from and have people to ask about what's that on your shirt or what's that mean to you right. so that was the general idea for it all mm-hmm. and then you know I, I started wearing it around town mm-hmm. and people started asking and my like I said my next I didn't want to sell it I just wanted this is what I want to do okay and then she would be with me uh-huh. I just have a money making mind so it's you're not like people were, were coming up to him, like, mm-hmm. hey, that shirt is dope. He's like, oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. And like, where can I get it? He's like, yeah. And I was, just, I was like, uh, yeah, give me a number. Right. We, like, you know, the first time that happened, mm-hmm. I think we were at some guy in Walmart parking lot. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's a dope shirt. Mm-hmm. Like, where can I get one? And like, who did it? was like, yeah, we made it. Right. And then he was like, oh, yeah, can I buy one? And Josh was, was getting ready to say they're not for sale. I'm like, sure, you can. Mm-hmm. So we exchanged information. We got his information. Right. And as soon as he got in the car, he's like, girl. <laughs> what did you do? Like, what? I was like, boy. Like, what do you mean? Right. It, at that point, it had been too many people. Mm-hmm. And it was not just one demographic of people. Mm-hmm. One of the first um, 
Tom's had was an Asian guy. Really? A firefighter, an Asian guy. Mm -hmm. um, the guy in the Walmart parking lot mm -hmm. um, kind of looked like your Rastafarian type guy. Right. It was so many different people at this point. Right. I'm like, mm-mm. That yeah, you had to. There's no way. Right. There's no way. Right. And then at the end of the day, even though it wasn't intentional, mm -hmm. I mean, it's no secret. We both love clothes. clothes. Right. Fashion. Right. I mean, just a thing. Joshua's always been into that stuff. Right. I've always been into clothes, and mm -hmm. even in high school, I was dying and cutting up jeans and selling them to my friends and stuff like that. Uh, really? So, you know, it's right. it just kind of, you know what I mean? Right. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah. When you do what you love, you're not working. Facts. Yeah. Just, Facts. It's kind of supposed to happen. Right. You know. Right. So right. It's, it's not something that you really. Yeah. Had it wasn't forced, so that's kind of why it flows. It just it was supposed to happen. It right. Was, we couldn't have sat down and drew this up if we wanted to. Because mm -hmm. we didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we didn't. We didn't. Like, and we, we, it was so, I mean, to the point where we didn't have, in, it was not mapped out at all. It was no, yeah, like, we're not even going to front. We didn't sit down and come up with a business plan until after the business yeah. started. <laughs> right, right. That's we didn't come up with a business plan. We just was like, okay, well, he like, we in the car like, what are you, how are we going to make them? Mm -hmm. So we had um, a friend of ours who she was making some other stuff for us. Mm -hmm. And shout out to TCW. Mm -hmm. And we reached out to her like, hey, you know, we want you to do this. Right. And whip some stuff up for us. And first she was just um, making it. She had no idea we, we were even trying to sell them. Right. Because we didn't she say just, that. Right. She we just, just came she with just our idea. Was, right, right. And then it got to the point where she's making them. But we like, okay, we starting to really sell them. Mm -hmm. We like, we got to cut the middleman. Right, right. But. But even, the, even before we even got to that point, mm -hmm. like. We bought the cricket. Oh, well, we put we put yeah, our money part. together. <laughs> right. We bought a heat press. <laughs> Backtrack. We, we didn't Back have track. a clue. We didn't attempt. We yeah. did attempt to um, do, Try it to do ourselves, it ourselves with but then no the, training, no like just. It, it's just start being too much. Yeah. Right, and then right. I like we're still working full time jobs, mm -hmm. and we're just like. Uh, so then we went back to her like, okay, that's outsource. why you don't burn bridges, right? right? So right. we went mm -hmm. back to outsource it again. Right. And then um, it was like, okay, but it's still like, shoot, it's back at the middleman, right? Right, right. So then we started doing pop-ups and doing all these different things. And we're like, okay, no, we really got to cut we the middleman. We really got to learn how to do this. And so we just was like, okay, you know what? Like, we literally did this pop-up one day and it went crazy. We left with nothing. We sold stuff that was already sold that people hadn't picked up. Hadn't picked up. Wow. So that Monday so we got to we got to this again, right, right? Right, 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 right. And so me and Joshua were talking, we like, what are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. Cause it went off this this particular event. Like we left with empty totes. Wow. No like nothing. Wow. Like not we didn't leave with one shirt left. Wow. So we like, okay, the people like this. People like it. And right. so we're like, what we gotta do? And so I was like, we sit down, we talk, we like, you know what, let's pray about it. Mm -hmm. Let God lead us on what to do. Mm -hmm. Um and so, less than 24 hours later, literally, we got a call. Like, hey, I know y'all doing your business this way. I know y'all have this uh, machine and this machine. Right. But how about if I teach you how to screen print? Mm -hmm. And then y'all can come here. Y'all can do this. Right. Got an opportunity. Like, it just was like. It just worked. Divine. Right. Like, it right. was just like already. <clears throat> It, it was this was Saturday we talked about it. Sunday we got the call for the opportunity. Wow. To Yeah, that's yeah. to be in a shop. That's definitely divine. Yeah. That's that's definitely divine. And by no means was it an overnight thing. Mm -hmm. We talking right. that Walmart instance like that was twenty fifteen. So we would like piece stuff together here and there. Mm -hmm. We get some every month. You know, a little bit here, mm -hmm. a little bit there. Right. But like the past two years have been a blur. Really? Like with, like I know I know you probably talked about COVID on previous episodes, how it affects small businesses. Right. But to ours, man, COVID was a blessing. And that's, wow, like, like a lot of people don't understand that. It was, really? it's weird, but like, because every, I mean, Legend shut down, Oak Park shut down, because, mm -hmm. you know, every, the country shut down. Right. But we're a small business that's mobile. Mm -hmm. We can do pop-ups. Right. We, we're still pushing online. Right. So people who can't get to the Legends or to Oak Park, mm -hmm. they see our stuff and they can come pick it up in person. Right. Or they can order online and, and we're right here and we can get it shipped. There's no delay in shipping. 
Right. So it, it took our, our business to another level with the COVID because it was just like, you guys are still rolling. You're not shut down. So right. during like during that time when COVID hit, that's when like, it really took out. Like 2019, it just mm. started rolling. Wow. So we, just, we started in 2015. Yeah, that we started in 2015. We started, yeah. this business was established yeah. in 2015. Our first sale. But it was just like a shirt here, a shirt there, sure, five right. here, ten there, two here, one right, there. Right. Yeah. And then it was just like just blew up. Wow. Yeah. Your next question is directed towards you. Mm-hmm. Um y- y'all said that you started a business in twenty fourteen. Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. Okay. So I understand that the business itself starting was totally unintentional. Right. Um what was you what were you doing prior to? Because I wanna get um, I wanna give people the idea of where how you came from doing one thing to accidentally starting a business yeah. and then just jumping into it. Yeah, um I was doing uh warehouse work. I used to drive forklifts. Okay, correct. So um I worked at um Tyson Hillshire Farms mm-hmm. and then I worked at a place called CSM in uh, Bonner Springs, Kansas doing the same thing, just like picking up pallets, moving them loading trucks. Right. So like that, uh, that's mainly what I was doing from the time I got out of college. Mm-hmm. I kind of just always was doing warehouse work. Right. As far as just like driving and loading and picking up stuff. Right. So that's what I was doing around that time. Mm-hmm. That, you know, we decided to put this together. Okay. So, so it wasn't like an automatic jump mm-hmm. into the entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. Like again, COVID was, was one of the things that made made me go full blast and her as well. Mm-hmm. Mikhail, she, what was you doing? So prior to this, I was actually director of medical records at a long-term care facility. Mm-hmm. So I handled all the medical records for the entire facility in COVID. Like I was, I'm kind of, I like my money steady. Right. So I was kind of, I can't kind of jumped on after the fact because I'm like, look, I know we doing this, but like, yeah, I like, I like this, how I like this, how I like that. You know what I mean? And so, and really, honestly, even though, you know, you say like, I'm a very spiritual person. Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes we say we have faith, Mm -hmm. but when you really got something in your mind and you really trust God and you really want to do it, Mm -hmm. you just you just do it and so when COVID came it hit our facility Mm -hmm. and I was like "Mm -mm." so I came up with this whole plan that I proposed to them on Mm -hmm. how I could do my fulfill my duties from home right and then they were just flat out like corporate we had a meeting with corporate and they were flat out like no we need all hands on deck well I'm not a nurse Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm just an administrator at the long term care facility on the one of the administrators. Right. I was actually the only person in my department. Mm-hmm. I didn't have an assistant, so I was doing like everything. So mm-hmm. and I had it down to a T. Mm-hmm. Like and I'm a, I do medical coding. Mm-hmm. And so I get you paid. Right. And they were like, Nope. I said, Well, I'm out because you'll replace me. If something happens to me here, Facts. you'll replace me. My kids Facts. can't replace me. My family cannot replace me. Right. So, you know, I went back and forth like a whole week. I'm like, I'm quitting, I'm not, I'm quitting, I'm not, I'm quitting. He's like, girl, if you gonna quit, you you quit, (laughs) not. I'm like, don't, you know, just let me. And then the day I called, you know, I was just, I I typed my letter up over the weekend. I was like, Monday, Mm -hmm. that's it. And that was a done deal. I was June 2020. June 2020, that's that's what's up, man. I want to ask a question. I was actually thinking about this question on the way over here. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause y'all are the first couple mm-hmm. business owners mm-hmm. cool, cool. that um, that uh, I've interviewed yet. Um, question is, how is owning a business with your spouse? How's that? Because y'all work <laughs> together. Yeah, y'all live together. Yeah. Who want to take that first? Let me go first. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, so how we do. When we're actually doing production, mm-hmm. we kind of, I'm on, he off, I'm on, he off. Okay. Because. When, when you say, when you're so, actually putting the, together the product. Yes. Okay. So, like, I'll say, hey, I'm going in, I'm going to the shop from this time to this time. Mm-hmm. And then we just kind of rotate. Okay. So that we're not, unless we're, unless we're preparing for, like, A something big. big right. 
But we're preparing for something big. Mm-hmm. We all in. We bring the kids. Right. You know, like they know right. how to do stuff. They right. folding and helping us tag. Right. Um, but we try to rotate just okay. because that's a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we yeah. live together. I'm like I, I'm you know, good. love you dearly. Right. But I don't want to. See you know what I mean? So we just kind of work it out like right. that. And sometimes just during the day, like. Josh will be doing deliveries and pickups and, you know, mm-hmm. going to the vendors and just different stuff like that. So mm-hmm. that's how we do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of like we, we got different departments we handle. Yeah. Got, so got, that's how we look at roles. it. Yeah. <clears throat> She's yeah. better at some things in the business and I'm better at some things in the business. So we don't always have to be in the same area. We yeah. just yeah. focus right. on what I'm good at and mm-hmm. she focuses on what she's good at. So, yeah. we, so who's the boss? What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, he, it, it was his vision. I, I take no credit for that. Um, he probably take no credit. That's all glory to God. However, God gave him the vision, and then he then shared the vision with me. But who's the boss? You know, I got you. Help me. Okay. The, re- the reason why it works <laughs> because I seen something that said there's. One person who's always worried and stressed out about something. Right. And then there's one person who's not worried and stressed out about nothing. Uh, okay. So if we were both high strung, like right, right, right. Our right. people, <laughs> like right. it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. But right. like she's always on ten about deadlines and this and that and right. I'm always like, ah, I'd and be he's fine. always on we'll like negative done. one. We'll we'll yeah, yeah, I'm on ten, done. he's on like negative one. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's, it's almost weird. I'm like, dude, it, like, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Like even that's why I'm glad. Like, see me, I'm more like hands on. Like mm-hmm. I'm like yeah. and so even when he's in the shop, I'm mm-hmm. like, hey. Joshua just chop, like, chop. you know, you know Joshua, yeah. right? right? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. That's urgency like is just mm-hmm. like you know hey you know i'm we'll, like we'll get it when get we get it. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 yeah, so. yeah so that that that's what makes it work the balance it's, yeah because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just like it's it's gonna happen and if we right. don't we don't get it done and you know it's already yeah. tomorrow yeah so. but that's not not me that's not the i don't do it tomorrow we yeah. finish it. if we start it today we finish it today and that's just that but a lot of times yeah it just works it's like it works good on that end because we get it done on that day because right. of the attitude and sometimes and you with my the stress approach, levels down. Yeah, and yeah. then we figure out another way to get it done that may that she not might not have been clear about because right. she's so focused so, yeah, right. on this one on way. Right. Yeah, right. So, right. so it, it balance it definitely balances itself out. That's what's up. Yeah, you can't have two people the same the same temperament. Right. Yeah. Y'all, y'all actually that actually answered my next question. Yeah. Is how y'all manage stress? Yeah. Uh, being company owners. And, yeah. You know. So yeah, just what you said. Yeah, I'm. I I'm just that. That's just my personality. Yeah. Like I'm just like, uh, right. Ah. right. You you go. You you. you that's you, just you me. Right, I've right. been like this my whole life. Right. Yeah. And then this dude is right. just the <laughs> so yeah. opposite. How long have been married? Oh my goodness. Uh, um, it'll, it'll be, be ten, 10 years, years next December. It's a blessing, man. Nine yeah. years. Woo. Yeah. A couple Woo. days would be nine years. Wow. Yeah. I know. Wait. So yeah, the anniversary is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow be. Tomorrow. Wow. wow. Um, Happy yeah. anniversary. Yeah. yeah. Thank That's you. What's up. That's yeah. cool. Ooh. Good thing but I didn't. Good thing, look, look. <laughs> good thing we didn't schedule for wedding. Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Today's right. our anniversary. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's business. We would have did it. It's y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so y'all got kids? Yeah. Three. 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 Three kids. Three kids. Three. Boys, girls. Girl. 14, 15, yep. she mm-hmm. turned 15 actually. Mm-hmm. Boys are 11 and 10. That's what's up. Yeah. No judgment. They, 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 they getting, they, they, everybody getting up there. Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all done? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's the end of the Watson Empire. I, I want Listen. one more, but I'm out, you know, she's outnumbered. Me and the kids <laughs> want more, but she's the one that has to deliver the goods, so we can't right. we can't right. do anything about it. Right. Yeah. They're yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah but yeah, the bug stops. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I feel you. I ain't mad. Look, I I love my bills. Oh, my yeah. babies. Yeah. yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Listen, they, yeah, they're they're a blessing. Yeah. But we've also taught them like the entrepreneur my, mindset. Mm-hmm. They have the same thing. Like all three of them, they have businesses as well. Really? Yeah. Like, we gave them an entrepreneur mindset to where we've taught them to. Be business owners. Right. Uh, her saying is, you don't have to work for somebody 
or work a job, you can be the job be and the own job. the job. Right, so that's right. that's kind of my say we have. Right. They're actually here. Oh yeah. So I'll, I'll bring I'll bring them in a little bit, one by one. I'll okay. try. Okay. Kizzy. So tell them tell them uh, about your business and and what you do, what you have going on. Um, my name's Mackenzie. I'm 15, and I sell sunglasses and accessories. That's what's up. Tell them the name. K-pop shades. K-pop shades, and you're on um, you're on Instagram and yes. That's what's Instagram, up. Instagram, Facebook, website www.k-popshades.com. That's what's mm -hmm. up. Tell them how long how long you've been doing it. For about a year now, since quarantine. All right. So what made you what made you get it uh, um, take that? I wanted to get into entrepreneurship because I see my parents doing. Mm -hmm. I see my parents doing it, and I just mm -hmm. kind of wanted to do my own thing. That's what's up. That's what, how's business for you so far? So far, we're doing good. <coughs> um, do you like when we when we do pop ups? The very first one you did. Oh yeah, I did really good the very first pop up. Thank you. So the very first pop up. <laughs> so when she first started, mm -hmm. she so. The sunglass idea came, but she's always worn them, mm -hmm. even yeah, little bitty. Mm -hmm. Like we could put sunglasses on her. She, you know, some kids don't like stuff right. on their face. We put sunglasses on kids. She rock them, right. um, and so that was always a thing. Like our parents and other family members and stuff. Everybody knows Kenzie likes glasses, so they would buy them, and she right. would wear them all the time. Right. So we figured, what better thing to promote and put out there than something that you already like, right? right. right. So um, that's how we got started, and so when she had to get her first batch of inventory mm -hmm. she's like okay so you know are you guys gonna i'm like no mm -hmm. if this is your business you have to use your she money actually put in some to, of her own to purchase yeah, your sure. um, inventory so she so. literally used her own her mm -hmm. own money mm -hmm. to get her first batch of inventory and um and I think she liked the results of Yeah, and so we money. when we were just teaching her, you know, terminology and things like that, and how mm -hmm. it works, return on investment, you know. Mm -hmm. If you spend a hundred dollars and then you make two hundred, you really only made one hundred. Right. Because you right. spent you one, one to two, make. Yeah, right. Right, right. And so when she first did it, I mean, she probably spent a couple hundred, mm -hmm. but she probably quadrupled, quadrupled that. Yeah. Wow. The first oh, pop up she ever did. Yeah. So wow. she was like I'm like, oh my god. Like, so we, had to, we had to hold her back. <laughs> so we're like, all right. Put the brakes on. Are we going, are we going to the mall? Yeah. Right. We got to put back right. with you. And now Spit. we have to pour back into the cups. Yeah, we do. Right. So, right. so, right. so that was just those so, little things yeah. that she had to learn along the way. But yeah. once she got it, you know, she was like, I think I like this. That's so I think right. she's about ready to venture into something else now. But um, okay. I, I just feel like, you know, so many times I always tell my parents it was always go to college, Mikhail, and get a good job. Nobody right. ever said go Nobody to college said, and be the business. job, right, yeah, right, you know? Right. Um, and even the college thing, you know? Hey, we tell our kids, go for free. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go, right. because nowadays, it's just a different ball game it's with us. Like, oh, okay. You know, it was like, in my family, in my house, college was not an option to mm -hmm. not go. It was not an option to not go. To not go, go. right. You had to you go. You had to go, right, right. I mean, it was okay, it was fine. Right. You know, we all went. And, right and graduated and things like that but then it was just like they didn't really give us any other options right. and we are teaching our kids right a different way yeah. right. it's, it's crazy because i i tell my kids this um before you sign a fafsa make sure you first make sure you know what you want to do sure. yeah. make sure you know what you want to do and then because a lot of us we go into college and we're fresh out of high school. Yeah. We don't really know until that? we realize, mm -hmm. you know, I don't really like this that yeah. much. Yeah. Secondly, <laughs> um, a after after you decide what you want to do, do you really need a degree to do it? Yeah. Because here's the deal. Unless you're like a doctor mm -hmm. or a lawyer right. and they require this document right. to mm -hmm. practice right. this field, then you could just be really, really good at what you do. You could. And then you can avoid a whole lot of debt. Because here's the thing, in a lot of situations, you need a degree yeah. to work for a CEO. Right. Mm -hmm. But you don't need a degree to be one. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. about who you know. So, yeah, yeah, it's all about so, who you know, yeah. your hustle, you know, your So everybody has their own, mm -hmm. you know, but that's definitely, right. it's just a, it's a whole new ball game nowadays. Right. Yeah. Now, Kizzy, I appreciate you. I look forward to great things <laughs> from your business. Thank you. Uh, I see somebody else looking in on me. So, <laughs> All right. can, can you bring me? Saya. <laughs> Our last two here. 
This is June and this is Drip. Okay. What's up, Drip? They, they got Josiah, little, aka yeah. Drip, <laughs> so, with a J. Okay. They, they have they have a little business endeavor that that they're working on as well. Okay. Tell tell them about your business and what's it called. Uh, so June and Drip Shoe Flip. So basically, yeah. Well, basically, after I have shoes, we kind of sell them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and. What what make what made you want to start this business? So we have a lot of shoes. Mm -hmm. So a lot. After like. I know your dad. I'm sure you. <laughs> <laughs> like after we, I guess, don't wear them anymore, kind of. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We uh, flip them and sell them. Explain flip. So flipping is basically you get a shoe right, mm -hmm. you flip it, and then. You sell it for under the price of the actual shoe. Okay. So what's the flipping process? So when, yeah, so what do you need to do to be able to flip these shoes? Can you just get them and just sell them? What do, do you, you have to clean them up? What do you, mean? You, have to, you have to string them up kind of. You have to keep them in good value. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first you have, first to start, the shoes that you get, you know, yeah. mom and dad, Christmas, whatever, yeah. you got to <clears> take care of them. Yeah. Yes. Because you know that you're going to resell them later. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm, I'm continue with your flipping process. So you make sure first that they're good. Yeah. And then you clean them. Yeah, clean them up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then and if you can't really fit them anymore, you go and sell them mm -hmm. under the price that they actually were. So so. You got it. You to, in order to do this, you have to be a little knowledgeable about your yeah. sneakers and your shoes so you so, guys brought some shoes today right yeah so you want to tell them about <laughs> your shoes what? yeah they're jordan sixes uh -huh. and they're jean jordans okay because they have jeans instead of normal very nice shoe yeah. so these are lebron's from mm -hmm. have you seen space jam the new legacy the new i haven't movie? seen it yet no okay. i haven't yeah, seen it yeah this is from the new movie the lebron's based off like the two based on uh-huh this is uh the coyote okay the Squad, and this is the road runner okay nice shoes okay. Mm -hmm. so are th those are for sale now mm. yeah <laughs> you look like you weren't ready to let them, let them go. They're not ready to be quiet <laughs> clips. Right, right, right. But, but we give them that mindset. Like it, it's been times we had stuff on and people want it. Right. We sell it. The first pop up Kenzie Kenzie yeah, sold that's that's glasses. You can't be attached to anything. Right. Like everything okay, has a dollar down. value, yep. and we can always we always tell them we can get it again. Yeah. That's not the last pair. All we do is need to research or, or eBay or whatever, and get on your local shoe group. We can find them Kenzie again. has sold glasses off her face. Yeah. Really? She, she has <laughs> sold glasses off if her it's, face. If it's a product in the business, it's, it's for sale. That's what's up. Yeah, we're not. And just trying to teach them about money, financial literacy. Like, right. it's so much stuff that we were not taught. Uh -huh. And so, you know, I think our kids nowadays are just so spoiled because mm -hmm. we just give, give, give. Mm -hmm. And we don't teach them how to how earn. Know. Right. How Walk to them save. through the process of yeah. how we got so this. yeah, they right. all three that have bank accounts, that have debit cards, just and they know up. we talk to them like you don't know, you can't just get on Roblox and buy all the new, <laughs> you know, right. all the, the latest and greatest fashions right. on Roblox, right. you know, this right. meta mm -hmm. and all this stuff right. that's you know coming. Right. So we're just trying to teach them early right. because we didn't learn it so right. early. Right. You know what I mean? I didn't learn really about credit seriously mm -hmm. until I got to college. I'm telling you. And even at that point, that was after I decided okay. to say, yeah, for that $7,000 credit card, they told me I could get a free t-shirt <laughs> for signing up for on campus. You know what I mean? Right, so right. so that's all we're trying to do, just right. teach them early. You know, at the end of the day, they'll take whatever path they choose to take, right. um, whatever way God leads them, mm -hmm. but we're just trying to set the foundation. All right. That's what's Open right. their minds up to different things. That's man, I love so, that about y'all, man. Yeah. That, that is that is awesome. June and Drip, man, I'm proud of y'all. Uh, how old are y'all again? I'm um, ten, eleven. Ten and eleven. Y'all are gonna be bosses <laughs> by the time by the time y'all get fifteen. Y'all gonna blow it out of the water. I absolutely have no doubt about that. Proud of y'all for doing it. Just uh, listen to your mom and dad. Yeah. Keep it up. Work hard and hustle. Sorry. You know. Thank, thank you. Absolutely. All right. All right, fellas. Hi. Thanks. We're about to wrap up in a little bit, but I mm -hmm. wanted to ask y'all uh, a couple other questions. 
what would you say is the most rewarding thing about being business owners? Mm. Um, I would say the freedom is is rewarding. I would say um, being able to do yeah, like especially when having up. kids, man. You know, our time. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's. I mean, it, it's just not something that can really be replaced. Mm -hmm. um, I seen a quote one time, this lady said, I don't envy labor. Mm -hmm. She was like, so any kind of work you do? Mm -hmm. She was like, I don't envy that. Mm -hmm. I envy people who have time mm -hmm. to do the things that they really love. Wow. And so, yes, this is how we feed the kids. This is how we- Keep the lights on. Be, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but. I value not having to put in a request for time off. Like I'm a grown woman and I have to tell you that I want to take off to go to my kids' field trip. Mm -hmm. No. And then, and, and to then each his yeah, Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, right. oh, sorry. Hey, there's three other people on your yeah. same team that mm -hmm. are off this week or two other administrators. Right. No. Yeah. You know, so I really value um, time and just being able to do the things that are most important to us and parenting. Like that's, Right. We 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 clash. We're yin and yang on a lot of things, but when it comes to parenting, we're one and the same. That's what's up. You know what I mean? How we feel about That's our kids, lesson. how we feel about providing for them, right. teaching them, caring for them, and just being there. Right. Like we've never. When I say never, Mackenzie mm -hmm. is fifteen years old. Mm -hmm. We've never missed a field trip. If he couldn't go, I went. If I couldn't go, he went. It's up. even been times we both showed up. They're that's, looking like, that's important. You know, you don't see that a lot in our community. No. Let's just be real. No. Yeah, they, they and send so them off. They're yeah. like, hey, yo, hey, it's the Watsons. Hey, right. Yes, we are here. We are visible. Yes. That's powerful. You know, so that's, that's, that's everything to me. And sometimes that time that comes with a pay cut sometimes. Mm. Sometimes. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Um, but it's worth it to me. Right. Absolutely. Because you don't get that stuff back. That You know, they, they won't be little again. Facts. You know, so. Facts. What would you say is the not so greatest part about being business owners? The... <laughs> Particularly in this field, just the, the the income part. When you talk talk about not have, like when you work a job, you know you're gonna get six hundred dollars right. a week. Right. If you work forty hours, yeah, you gonna get this. You know, you gonna get that. Check. You know what it was gonna look like after taxes. Right. Well, you for one, we don't work forty hours anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we, Facts. And he knows. Facts. That's always been a thing. My friends know. Like I, I'm a hustler. Mm -hmm. I like to. I like to get money. Right. But I don't. I've never been a fan of working for somebody. Mm -hmm. So, right. working like. Those times I had to work like mm -hmm. 50 hours and like they know, like Joshua knows, like 40 hour check. I'd be like, I don't care. I work 36. Like, I don't, <laughs> that's just, you know what I mean? My right, time. Like, right. I don't even care. Right. I don't figure it out. I'll figure I'll it out. Figure it out. Right. You know, so right. we don't, it's not, sometimes we can easily work in the first three days of the week. We can probably knock out 40 hours. Right. Just we have the kids sometimes the in the shop right on here. the floor with blankets, mm -hmm. like literally. That is so crazy. We have a treadmill in the it. shop. The kids they they'll put a blanket in the pillow. They laying on the treadmill. One's over here. One's on the table. One's under the table. That sounds like my childhood. God, that sounds like my childhood. <laughs> Jeez, my dad because he he started the business in in the house. Yeah, he started, he started so in the house and then <laughs> and then he um, and then the pastor because my dad was a minister pastor let him uh he, he bought his first press and the pastor let him run the press in the basement of the church yeah. and, and he would provide all of the tile offering right, you know right, right. envelopes yeah. and all that for, the, for yeah. the church or whatnot and like then when he finally moved into his first building he used to have us up there like late mm. nights collating and helping Listen, and falling asleep on know. pillows and yeah. all kind of stuff man that is, that is i love that man yeah. I, lo yeah. I love that about y'all how y'all have built it and built it with your family and not only just built it with your family but have trained them yeah. to do it for, for themselves sure. because for sure. we started so late yeah. you know what i'm right. saying we, we started so late and they're right. starting right now right by the time they're our age yeah. jeez you know everything's supposed to evolve so yeah uh, that's what we always talk about we want them to be better than what we were facts. and we want their children to be better than they were facts. so this mm -hmm. is about Leaving, leaving legacies, man. Yeah. That's, that's what it is for me. Leaving that's that's important to me. Yeah. That's really important to me because I feel like in a lot of other cultures, you see that. Yeah. Um, they leave them things. Right. You know what I mean? Um, right. 
and that's just important to me. Mm -hmm. Leaving something, obviously, they won't be pressing the shirts, they won't be screen printing the shirts, but they'll be running it. You know what I mean? Bigger, yeah, Yeah, absolutely. And and even with parallel, um, I don't think we've spoke about this, but. Parallel for us is really a play on words because the meaning of parallel is not the street. Okay. Absolutely not the okay. street. Okay. Interesting. Um, parallel is it's not to what intended for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Run side by side mm-hmm. and never cross. Uh, I got my lane. You got yours. We together. Mm-hmm. But you stay in your lane. I stay in mine. We don't have to cross each other. That's we can right. still be together and not cross not one cross another. One another. Yeah. And so of course that we live in one dot. Yeah. The main street is parallel. So just, Why not run? We just ran with it, right? right you know, right. but we let people know just because we have a lot of people, mm-hmm. family members and friends and mm-hmm. family. That's a, that's a goal of ours yeah. to not just be local. Absolutely, we want to be national. We want to be right. worldwide. So right. we feel like parallel is something that a lot of people are going to be able to relate to. Right. Absolutely, as far as those relationships running parallel. Right parallel, like we don't even. People say I got your back, you know, I got your front. That's we just be side by side and just don't cross. That means so much. I mean the just fact that to life. me, because I any time that I saw you guys yeah. um and, and saw your apparel, parallel to me meant the street. Yeah. I grew up on parallel. Right. Nineteen forty seven right. parallel, yeah. right up the street from uh snack pack. Right. Like five yeah. houses right. up. That's yeah. what it right. meant to me. But Same to hear here. this no, it's it's totally a, that's I love it's that. It's a relationship thing. I love yeah. that. And people always like people always talk about circles in my mm-hmm. circle. Like mm-hmm. I don't really like that word either, because when you make a circle start here and it comes back around and it's right back the same spot you started or it's just in your back right <laughs> if you make this if i got a tight circle right and i'm facing this way we put the circle and the last one come in it's popping my back right but if i'm parallel you parallel we just you like this forever forward. right nobody's in front right. nobody's in back we're right. taking the same steps and together. Nobody crossing. together and we'll together. never ever no matter how far we go mm-hmm. 100 years ahead it's, it's always going to be side by side that's with the same steps that is that is dope who does most of the design work? Who does most of the sitting down, coming up with the... She's more, like she said earlier, she's more hands-on. So mm-hmm. computer stuff, uh, she's real savvy with that. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a, I have like the ideas and she's able to translate them into right. the design. That's what's up. So we always say, he's, he, Joshua, is <laughs> the visionary. Okay. And what's an inside joke with us, but I always say he likes to think he's the Versace of the brand. <laughs> okay. He comes up with the ideas mm-hmm. and I bring them to life. Bring them to life. You know what I mean? He's like, okay. yeah, I think I wanted this and that. And sometimes his ideas hurt like, like what? Like, yeah. it'd be off the wall yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And they'll make sense to me sometimes. Yeah. So it causes me to have to be patient and sit there and listen. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, so then I take it to the paper or mm-hmm. I get on the computer and then I come up with a mic. I'm like, is this what you're saying? He's like, yeah, okay, well, scoot that box over, change the font. You know, right. let's do this. Right. Let's look at a different font. So right. it's really still kind of like a team thing. That's um, because even with the, our, one of our yeah. the street signs that's mm-hmm. like the number one seller oh, yeah? um when he said it it just wasn't my, i'm like street signs on a shirt i didn't know if he wanted like with a pole mm-hmm. and you know right. like Crossing. i know right. what right and i'm like okay so i literally just got a piece of paper and just kind of do doodled it, it literally right. a doodle right. um i'm an artist but not one that can draw right. um but and i'm like is this what you're saying he was like yeah and I'm like, green? Like, really? he was uh-huh. like, definitely not green. Uh-huh. And so he's like, red, black, and green. Like, let's make everything mean something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's still, it's kind of like a joint thing yeah. because, and even now that he came up with the, obviously the initial visions, mm-hmm. like, I, it's, I'm starting yeah, to tap in. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so I'm like, what you think about this? Sometimes I feel like he kind of be, <laughs> Hey, no my designs a little bit. Because sometimes I feel like I come up with some hot stuff mm-hmm. and he be like, nah. and I'll be excited, right? right I'm all right, like excited, right. like, oh, look what I did. And he's right. like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's, like, a, it's a feeling thing. It's right. hard to describe. But, but you know what? And that's fine. Um, yeah. Because even if he's like but, that, mm-hmm. it's coming out. Yeah, if mm-hmm. I really feel strongly but, about it. Right. And, and I haven't missed yet. Right. So let's just say that. So. <laughs> Even if he's not real happy about it, or he's like, because right. sometimes I feel like he he be thinking like 
man, I wish I would have came up with that. That's mm-hmm. what I think, so it's cool. We good. Yeah. No. <laughs> but no, no, that's not it. So, yeah. It's a joint. It's a joint. It's a joint. Yeah, that's for sure. So, what do y'all see for the future of parallel clothing? Like, so, first, so first, the, first, before I go there, before I go there, yeah. you have hats. Yeah. You have shirts. Yeah. You have hoodies and sweatsuits. Sweatsuits. Right. Socks. Right. Socks. You got to coat. You got to coat that up. Coat. Coats. You got to coat that up. Bags. I love that coat. Yeah. Duffel bags too. Duffel Beanies. Bags. Fitted wow. caps, dad we just, caps. We just did ornaments. We're, by for no Christmas. means really? are we a t-shirt yeah. company. We're not. We not. We're not a t-shirt. We're an apparel right. company. Yeah. We're doing that. Yes. So, so our our goal is to anything you wear, mm-hmm. we want to be able to supply you with that space. Yeah. So this Christmas we just came out with so jean jackets. Yeah. Really. Right, we got so, all that. You know, I right, we're trying, trying yeah, to see we just, yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. So and you you talk about the next venture. This we get this every time we do something. Every time. Mm-hmm. It changes. When are you though? Gonna, do you notice? Yeah. Do you notice it changes? Yeah. It changes for us. So the big question. The venture. Yeah, because yeah. at first we were just like. You everybody know, is <laughs> like, when you open a store, that's, that's everybody's question. That's the magic question. question. Mm-hmm. Right. So with with COVID, of course, it didn't make sense to us. Open store. Right. The the overhead, like right. what we're doing, right. and then you see everybody can get shut down like that. We're like, unless we own the building, right? And we right. rent, right. if we rent the space, right. it right. ain't because right. we we just it the world just showed us how everything could just stop at right. a drop of a hat. Right. We still got to lease and pay rent, right? You know, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna care everything. Right. So that so, kind of made us like, uh, yeah, we're so we're sure. a little hesitant on that mm-hmm. note but. to do a storefront, but. Now with things picking back up and things kind of getting back to normal, Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something that we're definitely thinking about Mm -hmm. doing. Let me give a quick shout out to We Buy Black. We Buy Black, I think, um, was really like one of the first like big pop-ups we ever did. Okay. And I think that's what made us also feel like- We can sustain, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like when we do that, when we've done those We Buy Black pop ups, mm-hmm. it's blew it, up. It's wow. crazy. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. That's what's up. And not, um, not and just, so, just We Buy Black. Uh, uh, Mr. Wilson. Oh, my Wilson's goodness. Pizza and Absolutely. Grill. Shout right. out to Mr. Wilson. Uh, he he was He's, a person. Oh and uh, Roger Suggs with we love uh, him. Yes. Truth Apparel. Yes. Those are two people that always. Said, hey man, you need to come down here. You mm-hmm. need to set up. Mm-hmm. Never. And the type of person I was, I was like, yeah, whatever. Right. Yeah, I'll do it. Blah blah blah. I'll right. do it. I never did it until that one day I did it, mm-hmm. and then we've been doing it ever, since. Doing it ever since. But right. those are people that that pushed us to do the pop ups there and be visible and let the people come see you, touch you, interact with you. Absolutely. Right, right. So they encouraged that, man, and they, they gave us a push in the right direction. So we got to definitely shout them out. I do. Well. I have another shout out too. Um, Modesty at Elite Designs. Mm-hmm. Another person that just kind of yeah. gave us a little platform, mm-hmm. um, literally invited us and let us come into her shop. Right. Um, right. So shout out to Modesty. Yeah. Like we don't, look, it's, it's so Somebody many people helped us. along the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody helped us. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's so many people now who don't want to share information. Um, yeah. That is this city. The, uh. Like even like I said, like the shop we're in now. Mm-hmm. This lady, that's what she does. Mm-hmm. She opened her shop yeah. up to wow. us. Wow. That's a blessing. We yeah. were trying to figure out hey, what's the next move. Mm-hmm. She called us the next day, like. And she only knew us from doing business with mm-hmm. us. So she could have kept doing business with us. Mm-hmm. She could have kept taking our money. Right, right. Because we were doing this piece right. at home, mm-hmm. and she was doing she this was other doing piece that we couldn't money. do. Right. And she opened up her doors, and so many people were like, well, why would you do that? Mm-hmm. She was like, look, that's not, what God has for me is for it's me. For me. So if right. I have knowledge mm-hmm. and something that I can share, uh-huh. why wouldn't I? Right. And it's been nothing but a blessing. So shout out to TCW. Shout That's out to Tay's Creative Ways. Tay's Creative Ways. Check her out. She yeah, is all the media best. Um, yeah. Shout out to Modesty. Mm-hmm. Uh, big shout out to Mr. Wilson. And big shout out to Roger Suggs, Truth Apparel. Check him out. Um, all of those people have been um, very vital 
uh, a vital piece of just what we do. Right. Um, just like Mr. Wilson, it's been times where he's like, yeah, even if it's cold, you can come in. We're set up inside of Wilson's. Mm -hmm. If you ever been in Wilson's, mm -hmm. it's not even that big. Right, right. And, he's let us set up on this little, he has like this little space. bar right. thing over right. here, a table over here. Right. Literally no lie. Right. Um, one, one day we set up, Roger was over here. Mm -hmm. We were right here, mm -hmm. Keisha Candy Apples. That wow. like you can't you can't you can't say anything yeah. bad about yeah. Gary Wilson to Parallel Clothing Company. Right. Absolutely right. not. Right. So that's, shout that's out to it. them and shout out to our families. Our family. Yeah, they've supported. I, you know how much we heard. If you start a business, don't count on your friends and family. Mm -hmm. That's not our that's story. That's not your story. And I won't, I won't say like they say don't count on your friends and family. Like friends, mm -hmm. I won't. But family, okay. they've been solid, man. Wow. Like anything we've needed, mm -hmm. uh, the support. It's a blessing, man. Like our parents literally need. bought our first yeah. piece of equipment. My dad and his mm -hmm. dad yeah. went in, gave, literally gave us the money to buy the live. equipment. Our first press, our up. first little cutter. It's a blessing, <laughs> like, man. Look, that's that's a, that's a blessing. Wow. Look, it, it, that, everybody doesn't have that story. No, it no, is, it is. our family, and mm -hmm. and definitely, and and I say, I know Josh was saying our family, but in like seriously, my friends. Mm -hmm. Fire. That's what they wear. Right. They wear it. That's they do, and they have businesses. I even have a friend whose husband has his own apparel. Mm -hmm. And he still says, "They still, there. she still rocks with." You know what song. though? If it's a blessing. If um, more people in the city would think like that, yeah. because I, one of the one of the problems that I face in the city, and I notice a lot of other people do too, yeah. is we have this thing that. If I help you, I won't eat. <laughs> no. But it don't work that way. It doesn't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Our favorite thing to say to people who think like that, mm -hmm. when you go to the grocery store, mm -hmm. you go down the bread aisle, right. you got Great Wonder Lee. Bread, Wonder, Great Bread, Iron Keys, Sara Lee, Sarah Lee. Mm -hmm. like all yeah. these bread all companies. These bread. <laughs> not worried about each other. You <laughs> no. got white bread, wheat bread, right rye next bread. To, right right next it's to a each whole other. aisle. And guess yeah. what? You come in there, people pick what they want to pick, right. and it doesn't affect yeah. the other bread. Right. And right, right now, if you go in the store, yeah. especially during this season, yes. Shelves are empty. Yeah. Right. You know so, so everybody, everybody eating. buying it. Right. Yes. People are gonna buy what they want to buy. If right. I like yes. Sarah Lee, I'm not worried about Wonder Bread coming out. She right. buys Wonder Bread. That's what she's gonna, she gonna eat. Like it, it's you, it's just that what I, I said it earlier. What God has for you is for you. Right. Yeah. We've even had people who try to imitate and try to copy what we do. Mm -hmm. Let us inspire you. Right. But do your own thing. Do your own thing. You know right. what I mean? Right. Like right. you know, don't don't go don't go and remake my shirt and put it. You know, like <laughs> right, right. Uh, right. you know what I mean? Like right. let I, I we I, I want to be an inspiration. We want to inspire the people right. to step out on faith right. and just go for it right. and do what you love. Right. But you don't have to you do the to same copy. thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. exact. You right. know, and, right. and legally be you don't want to really do that either. So. <laughs> You know, that's a new story. On that, on that end, <laughs> but like, I know a lot of people get out of whack mm -hmm. on that kind of stuff, but mm -hmm. we don't, I'm, that kind of energy, like, it doesn't. Yeah. We don't even focus on it. If we got people know. sending screenshots, screenshots, phone calls. Like, we like, hey, shout out to them. Yeah. You know, we inspired you. <laughs> we inspired the greatest we got, form of flattery I've heard. So that's what's up, man. Yeah, I, I love y'all. No, nah, we got right so here. much. I love we're energy. like, we're so we're big. We're trying to be bigger than. Right. Just here, so right. and that's came with maturity and growth too. Just even right. in, in, in yeah. being an entrepreneur, because right. like we said, you know, I'm always like, mm -hmm. and Josh was like, right. no, and, and, and <laughs> like I, 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 yeah, she's well, probably want to get on some posts. And <laughs> well, we we had an instance where her, so we came out. So with the street signs, it was first it was just like shirts and mm -hmm. t-shirts and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So then we decided let's put it on a hat. Mm -hmm. You know, let's make it small, let's right. embroider it, right. and do that. So we came out with it on a beanie, nice beanie, nice cable knit beanie, mm -hmm. and we posted it. Mm -hmm. It went crazy, mm -hmm. like the shares, like it, I mean, it went crazy. Wow! But then we start looking at the shares mm -hmm. because we like to go thank people. We like to thank you. We right. like thank you for the share. Right. Like we hands on, we personal. Right. We don't even say customers. We call it family. Right. You know, and so we had somebody share it. And somebody that was from the other side of the water mm -hmm. and made a negative comment about it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, me, I call him like, you see this? Can you see this? And I'm like, oh, it's on, you know. And he was like, 
Uh, wait, 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 wait. He was like, first of all, we don't entertain that kind of energy. And I need that because sometimes I need him to bring me back. You know, sanctification is a process. Bring me back sometime. And so he's like, babe, that's good publicity. And the first comment somebody got in there was like, that's hard. Where can I find that? And I was like, right here. You show right. right. You know what I mean? That's so what I'm saying, this, like, this yeah. young lady shared it and made this negative comment about it. Um, and the first person that commented was like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's hard. Like, where they at? Where can I find right. that? Yeah. So I'm That's like, so when you leave, when you leave stuff alone like that, it balances out. You know, it balances out. So right. that's why you don't jump at everything that's as soon as it built to irritate you or, right. or negativity. Right. Because right. because you didn't have to respond. Somebody you don't even know responded mm. and made a great response. Right. That took care of that comment and got and us to say it. <laughs> Actually, so like, literally off of that post. Yeah, you can't respond to negative energy. Like you just can't. You don't have time for you it. Time for it. You That's don't. So if you want to grow and you want to be successful and you want to hit goals, like you have no time for anything negative. Like people want to be in their box with being miserable. Let them. Let them be like in their box by themselves. You can't don't jump yeah. in it. Will you time can't entertain it because right. not not you never know where, what direction that's going to take. You've taken ten right. steps. You can't afford to take even one back because then you turn around, yeah. jump out of pocket, yeah, and then that's bad publicity. Right. It's bad right. business. Right. Yeah, like right. you just right. Right. Business with yeah, yeah. Look, right. they on there, yeah, going crazy on, on social media, arguing with people like right. not that's not our energy, man. Right. We we got right. nothing but positive and good energy. That's all we want to display, man. Mr. and Mrs. Watson, man, it has been a pleasure uh, having you on the show. I yeah. so appreciate this conversation. It was an amazing experience for me, learning everything from y'all about your business and about your future, about your goal, meeting your kids. Awesome. So proud of y'all, especially being mm-hmm. from the dot. Yeah. Uh, many blessings to y'all. I want y'all to do me a favor. Yeah. Talk okay. to talk to them right there okay. and tell them where they can get in contact with you, uh, all your socials, your emails, telephone numbers, whatever it is you want. So our email, you can email us at parallelcco at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook, Parallel Clothing Co. You can find us on Instagram, Parallel Clothing Co underscore so that's just parallel clothing co stands for short for company Mm -hmm. underscore um we have a twitter but we don't really tweet a lot yet i don't either I want to get into it. Uh, though, might, so. We might start tweeting in 2022, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, email, our website. Most importantly, yeah. www.parallelclothingco.com. Yes. That's what's up. So you find us. That's what's up. I appreciate it, man. I um, sadly I do not own a piece of apparel. Oh my but goodness. I love what you're wearing. Okay. I want that one. Okay. Um, how much can I get that for? You can get this particularly for $50. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you have a cash app? We do. We have cash app, PayPal, Venmo. I'm about to buy it from you right now. Okay. If you don't mind. You ain't got okay. to take that one off. You can give me okay. a clean one. Okay. For sure. For sure. <laughs> that'll work. That'll work. Um, do you want to give me a cash app now or you want to do it off camera? Uh, or? We can do it off camera. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, y'all, when y'all see me next time, I'll be rocking that hoodie right there. Please support. Uh, mm-hmm. this, this king and this queen doing their thing. They, they, they've been in business since 2014, right? 15. 2015. 2015, yeah. and they are growing exponentially. Um, their clothing brand is going so far. Uh, so please, you looking for something to wear? Wear Parallel. Yeah. Um, continue to support this channel. I appreciate y'all uh, uh, supporting me. If y'all, anybody want to be on the show, Spotlight with Ron Carter, please inbox me. You know how to get at me. The dope experience, man. We enjoyed yes. ourselves. Absolutely, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely. appreciate it. So, um, y'all stay tuned, and I'll be bringing another black business to you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate you. Take it easy. Madam, thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. All right. I'm motivated to come alive. I'm motivated to come alive. I'm motivated, I'm coming up. I'm motivated, I'm coming up. Get motivated to come on up. I'm motivated, I'm coming up. I'm motivated, I'm coming up. I'm motivated, I'm coming up. Get motivated, I'm coming up.